Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. It's another beautiful day outside, and I want to clear up, I don't know, I'm going to, I want to clear up a little bit of confusion. <laughs> uh. So you may have noticed that the dates on the past few vlogs jumped around a bit. I didn't want to wait to post the information about when the baby was born. So I had a couple of vlogs that were supposed to go up before that. So those are the, one, those are the ones you just saw. So now we're back on track. But by now I think I'm actually, I'm going to California for Vid Summit. Jamie's staying here with the dogs. So this whole week is kind of backlogged vlogs and then next week you'll see. Well anyway, you know, it's kind of in order. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> but I'm actually going to Vid Summit in California uh, in a couple days. I'm leaving in a couple days. I'm not ready, but I'm leaving in a couple days. I'm leaving in a couple days. It's gonna be like the first time ever that Jamie and I have been away for more than what, two nights in a row? I'll actually be gone for four nights. One of them I'll be flying and he picks me up in the morning. So it's not too bad, but he'll be here watching the dogs and I'm gonna go learn some things about YouTube and stuff and things. I'll have a camera with me, he'll have a camera with him. So it should work out okay. I oh, know it should work out okay. Uh, one more thing, I don't know if you guys saw it, I've been trying to promote it as much as I can because we only could run the campaign for seven days, but we do have a limited edition Halloween shirt, which I'll put up on the screen here. There will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below. It has the dogs on it. I had to do it limited edition so that you guys could get it before Halloween. So if you want to get a limited edition Gone to the Snow Dogs Halloween shirt, there will be links up in the cards, down in the video description below, and at the end of the video. What are we gonna do today? I have no idea. I think, I have no idea. I think I might be going over to Mike and Brittany's to see some of her Nightmare Before Christmas LuLaRoe stuff. I think that is happening today. I don't know what else is going on today. I just got the message from Brittany and her box of LuLaRoe Nightmare Before Christmas slash Disney villain stuff isn't gonna show up for a couple days now. She thought it was showing up today, but apparently it was one shirt that shipped to her today. So we still gotta wait. But regardless, if you guys are into LuLaRoe and you're looking for somebody to buy some, Brittany from Press Record sells it, and I'll try really hard to remember to put a, a link to her LuLaRoe stuff down in the video description below. So right now, we're trying to figure out what's going on. Jamie's taking a nap. He didn't sleep too good last night, so he was going to go take a nap. These girls just had lunch, and I think they're all going to take a nap too. I don't think I'm going to take a nap. Maybe. I mean, that does sound like a good idea but probably, probably not gonna happen. <laughs> so I figured out something we can do. October is Pet Wellness Month, and we, this part of the video is being sponsored by VIP Pet Care. They wanted us to talk to you guys about Pet Wellness Month and the importance of the wellness of your pets. I will put some links down in the video description below to their website and also to their ultimate vacation sweepstakes. You can check those out and check out more about VIP pets. They do like little things like at tractor supplies and little pet stores, um, like uh, pet feed stores and stuff where you can actually take your pets and get shots and things like that. So it's kind of nice that you don't have to go to the vet. They have different times and stuff. You can go to their website and look in their area or look in your area to see if they have something there for you to go to. But we just kind of want to take a few minutes and talk to you about the importance of pet wellness. So having pets is really more than just, oh, hey, look how cute they are. They're fuzzy and they're awesome and blah, 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 blah. There, I mean, most of you guys know. There is a lot more to it than that. Shelby's like, no, I'm just cute. Look at me, I'm just cute. Uh, you have to keep them up to date on their vaccinations. You have to make sure that they get health checks, take care of them when they're sick. There's definitely a lot of different things that you need to do. Where'd you go, Memphis? Bless you. Like Memphis is sneezing. Why are you sneezing? I think it's because you just ran, ran into Shelby's face. I take my girls to the vet at least once a year. Even if they don't need a shot, even if they don't need their heartworm medication, even if they don't need their flea stuff, I take them at least once a year. 
basically, it's kind of like when we go to the doctor. You just get a basic health check. And I do think that's important. I think it's important because you're monitoring your dog's weight, you're monitoring their health, you're monitoring all the different things that could go wrong. I know some people don't like to take their dogs to the vet all the time. I'm not saying all the time. I'm saying, you know, at least once a year. You always want to make sure that they're up to date on all of their vaccines. Like I know right now, all three of my dogs need to go to the vet sometime within the next two weeks and get their Bordetella. Now, for those of you that don't know what Bordetella is, Bordetella is they get it up their nose actually, and it helps to prevent kennel cough. Doesn't 100% prevent it, but it helps make it less of a chance that they'll actually get it. How did I know you girls were gonna be crazy if I came in here and sat down and tried to talk? I just, I just knew it. I just knew it. But anyway, like I know in my schedule that all three dogs are due for their Bordetella. I also have a really awesome vet that sends us out a little card reminder every time anything is due for the dog. Shelby is actually due for her yearly exam as well. Oh my goodness, girls. What are we doing? Are we just being crazy? And then Oakley's like, not me. I'm just being me. And then Oakley's a senior dog. So Oakley actually sometimes goes to the vet a little bit more than these girls do because we watch for more things with her. And if something really strikes, you know, that it's different. You guys saw we took her to the vet the other day for not, for not eating. She skipped a couple meals. Then she'll go a little bit more probably than these girls do. You just laid on a toy. You really did. Uh, so really you guys, taking them to the vet is not the only important part of Pet Wellness Month to keep your pets healthy and fit. You really need to remember that exercise needs to be a very important part of your routine. Walking your dogs, taking them out and playing with them, letting them run around and play together. You have to keep them exercised to keep them healthy and keep them fit. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We try to walk our dogs as much as we can. I don't always vlog when we walk the dogs because sometimes it's really hard to walk three dogs and vlogs at, vlog at the same time. But we do, and of course, you guys see us play out in the backyard with them quite often. And we do monitor how much food they eat. Our dogs are fed a cup and a half of food daily, unless we are doing like dog sledding and they're working and things like that. Then they get a little bit more. But we, we make sure to monitor the food they're eating. Yeah. So anyway, guys, yeah, like I said, we're working with VIP Pet Care, and we just wanted to kind of talk to you about Pet Wellness Month. And uh, yeah, they wanted us to share some info with you. Again, there will be links down in the video description below that you can check out. Get her. Get her. <laughs> Get her. Get her. Or stare out the window. So anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed this little sponsored section of the vlog. From time to time, we do these with companies that we like and companies that we enjoy working with. So we hope you guys enjoyed this and we hope you learned something about pet wellness. Again, tell us down in the comments below, what do you guys do to make sure your pets stay happy and healthy? I let mine do zoomies in the living room. Like you, you wanna do your couch zoomies? Couch zoomies! <laughs> So, as I said earlier today, the vlogs are kind of weird. The past few vlogs you saw were taken before the baby was born, and then today is the vlog that was taken after the baby was born, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Uh, Danielle got to go home from the hospital. They actually went home today. I didn't go over there or anything because they, they need this time to kind of, you know, this is their first baby, and they kind of need that little bit of time alone to figure out things and stuff like that. So, everybody's doing good. The baby's doing good. Danielle's doing good, and yeah. Thank you so much for all the congratulations and all the love and all the wonderful things you guys said. My brother is reading the comments. I'm trying to convince him to start a YouTube channel, but I don't know if that'll happen. But it would be cool, wouldn't it? I mean, he's got two dogs and a kid, and I just think it'd be fun, but I don't know if he has time or if he's as into it as I am. Um, I didn't share yesterday, we made more apple pie filling. I figured I didn't have to film it again since we filmed it the first time, but we made it in a little bit bigger jars this time so that uh, we can actually use it for a full-size pie where the little jars were more for camping. What are they doing? What are you doing? Are you still being crazy in here? Yeah? Yeah? I am currently making chicken noodle soup. I gotta get out a pot to make the noodle soup. Whoa, don't fuck up the camera. Making some chicken noodle soup because uh, it's a little chilly outside, so it's a good day for soup. Did you steal the ball? You know, Oakley just had that, and I took it from her. That's not very nice of you. <laughs> Oh, we just finished eating dinner. The dog, look, look at Memphis. Memphis is like, this is, this is how you do it, guys. Upside down, lean into the couch. 
<laughs> and Oakley's over here all scrunchied up. Not really scrunchied up, but you can see she's pushed up against the little footrest thing there. She's like, I'm happy. I'm super happy. Jamie and I just watched Gotham, which we don't normally watch when it airs on TV. We normally watch it on uh, Hulu, but we caught it on TV this time, so we figured, what the heck? Why not watch it? Why do you look so happy, huh? You Are you just super happy that you took the ball? Is that the deal? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Scoot away from the couch. <laughs> Goofy dog. What'd you do to that puppy, Jamie? <laughs> she's like, Daddy, Daddy, come in with me. Look at her, she's like, I got all comfy and then you <laughs> left. <laughs> I'm gonna pout. Yeah, she does. <laughs> like, please, please, just reach me. Just reach me. Reach, reach, reach. <sighs> I win the game. You can tell it's getting colder because the dogs are enjoying the beanbag chair again. Yeah. They don't really ever, they didn't really touch it all summer, but now that it's getting like colder, they're like, oh, remember <laughs> this? This is nice. Are you sleeping? Good job. You guys are way too cute. You make me want to go to sleep. Hey, where are you going? We have to go to bed, Memphis. You're going the wrong way. All right, you guys. Well, today pretty much ended up being dog vlog. Did you knock the pillows off the couch? What are you doing knocking the pillows off the couch? Look at this awesome pillow I found. It looks like my spirit hoods. Found it at Kmart. <laughs> Uh, all right, you guys, that's all we have for today. If you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Wanna say goodnight? Wanna say goodnight? Oakley's like, I was asleep. <laughs> Good night, audience. We'll see you soon. All right, yeah, snuggles. Yeah, look how cute you are. Get some sleep, honey. Get some sleep. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlog.